Hello Aquarius, so I am G1 Writer with G1 Insights and I am here doing your career, life, health, love and everything else in between, focus, okay? Yes, even money, okay? I'm doing that as well. So guys, if you are just joining me, for those of you who don't know me, like I said, I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. I absolutely love doing tarot and archangel readings. I also enjoy doing chakra bracelets as well. I handcraft these myself. So if you at any time would just like to go on my website and check things out, please feel free to click on the link at the end of the video, okay? So let's see, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. So I welcome you guys so much. I know that your energy has been changing. I know that you guys have seriously been going through a shift lately, okay? I mean, it's been really, really interesting being you these days. So I understand if you feel... Hmm. If you feel a little lost or if you feel like you have no control over things these days, it's okay. I want you to know that it's not going to stay that way, okay? So, let me, let's see Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Yes, 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 yes. All right, calling on my Archangels and Guardian Angels. Thank you for assisting me with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Calling all of our Ascended Love Masters and all of our Ascended Masters from the past. Thank you for showing all of our loved ones from the past. Thank you for assisting me with Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Overall, career and life focus for love, money, health. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, very good start. Yes. Very good energy. I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. Your energy is very similar. I mean, you have a different card, but your energy is very similar to Capricorn so far, okay? I feel like you guys are in a process right now of trying to make a very, very important decision. But I also feel like a lot of you are taking life way too seriously right now. Like, I feel like a lot of you need to just get out and have fun and stop stressing so much, okay? So, a lot of you is, yes, definitely, there's a lot of focus here. It's like, hmm... You guys have to learn to communicate better, okay? When it comes to, and it's not saying that you don't know how to communicate. You have to communicate better, okay? What is it that you really, really, truly want? What is it that you really, really feel? What is really, really troubling you? What is really, really causing your sadness or your depression? What is really, really making you upset? Like, this is a season where you're going to get to the root of the fucking problem, okay? So, I strongly advise that if you have feeling like things are all over the place, you feel like it's not working out, you feel like you're a bit stressed out, you know, you want to really, really take some time and just think, you know, man... What am I investing my energy into, you know? Am I applying my energy to something that is going to elevate me? Am I applying my energy to something that's going to better me as a person? Or am I applying my energy to something that's going to drain me and stress me out? Or, you know, what am I investing my energy into? You know, I speak about the law of attraction all the time because it is so important for you guys to understand how to use um, and understand the law of attraction, okay? The more you say powerful words, okay, no matter if they're good or bad, the more you say it, the more it becomes like a part of your belief system, okay? So if you're constantly looking at yourself and you feel like, okay, you know, I really don't like this, I don't like my complexion, I don't really like my skin, or I don't really like the way I smile, you know, I don't really like my, my weight, I think I'm too fat, or I think I'm too thin, you know, whatever it is, you know, this is a season where you want to speak life. Okay, speak life into yourself, okay? Pour love into yourself is what I feel for you, Aquarius, okay? This is the perfect season for you to be exactly what you are. The creative, fun, intelligent, creative leader. We all need that in the universe, dear love. We need you, Aquarius. This world is not the same without you. We need your creative aspirations. We need to know what you think of something, you know. We need your mindset, okay, because you are one of the few signs that actually take a step back and think outside the box. Like, you look at every little small 
<laughs> detail and you are very like precise with how you want to do something but sometimes you can be extremely impulsive and if, if something seems like just too boring or too serious you're normally probably just break the rules and say fuck life and just go for it right but lately you haven't been doing that lately you're just like okay I gotta focus I gotta do this I gotta do that um I gotta get back to this I gotta get back to that like you have not been you know Mm. You have not been yourself lately, okay? So something happened, or something is going to happen in the month of September where it kind of triggers your emotions. It triggers your level of success. It triggers the way that you process your thoughts, or it triggers what you feel or think about an individual or even yourself. So, and be mindful of that, dear love, because I feel like it's going to happen around that new moon in Virgo energy around the 9th or the 10th, uh, going into that final week, ending around the 18th. It's going to be a lot of challenging energy, dear love, where it's like, okay, you know, how do I deal with this information? What am I going to do? And that's probably why you got the two of earth here. The two of earth is the two of pentacles. In traditional tarot deck, that's what it is. It's about a person that is having a hard time balancing something okay or trying to make a decision about something not really quite sure not sure of what to do you know it's like this is good but so is this what should I do with this right and then so it's like you're trying to balance these energies out and so I see that a lot of you are going to be seeking advice from a friend a lover co-worker somebody who is who inspires you very deeply someone who you kind of look up to someone who can make you laugh someone you just really deeply care for is what I see that you are going to be really in charge and going after your goals and things that you want but I also see a lot of distractions and I think that that is what's frustrating you the most is that it's like you're trying to do something but then there's a lot of distractions so you guys have to balance that energy okay so whatever the situation is that is happening or that is going to happen, okay, is definitely going to require a lot of attention, okay, it's going to definitely be like the center of attention, so I don't know if it's, you know, a money related issue or if it's a home issue, you know, you may be um, relocating, you may be moving somewhere, you may have to pay back a debt, whatever it is, I mean, I feel like it's going to work out in your favor anyway, like it's going to end up being like, you know, a good thing when it's all said and done. My son got his cup sitting here. <laughs> I just noticed that my son has some. So, you know, um, yeah, he loves Port Patrol. <laughs> so, you know, I just feel like whatever it is, it's definitely going to catch your attention, okay? Um, so, this is not the season for you to rush through things. Of course, you want to take action because once Mars leaves Capricorn, it's actually going to go right back into your sign for a while. And that is going to challenge you to take action on something, okay? To be back to your normal self, to be impulsive, to be, you know, to think big. And with these two options or choices, it's something that you need to consider, okay? But it's also... A time where you don't really have much time to do all this fucking thinking. Like, I think that's what's adding the pressure or the stress. Like, you don't really have that much time to sit in here and think and think and think and think. Like, you don't have time for that this season, okay? So, it's like, okay, I gotta make the right choice, but I gotta make a wise choice, right? Like, I gotta make a decision, but I have to be smart about this decision. Like, yes, it's so easy to be impulsive, but I have to be smart with my decision. I cannot just jump in it and voila. Like, I cannot do that. So, I think that for you, dear love, it's like, yes, I'm ready to be passionate. I'm ready, ready to be adventurous. I'm, I'm assured, you know, I, I'm restless. You know, I'm having all these these dreams or epiphanies or nightmares or whatever you want to call it, right? I'm, I'm having all these different things going on in my life. But I have to do something about it because this shit is driving me crazy, right? Like, I just feel like you, because Aquarius, look, let's face it. You guys overthink every fucking thing, right? Like, you overthink everything down to a T, my love. So, the universe is saying, listen, calm down a little while. Calm down. Like, we got you. 
That's what the universe is saying. Calm down, honey. We got you. Okay? So let's see what else the archangels are saying, dear love. Let's see what your loved ones are trying to convey to you this season. But like I said, dear love, they want you to calm down. They want you to just relax. To take a minute or two to say, you know what? I think this would be better for me. You know, I think if I, I do it this way, this might actually work out for me. So let's see what the universe is saying about love and about your career, about your finances. What can you expect in the month of September? Let's see what's going on with you. All right. Let's see. All right. Thank you for showing me Aquarius. I'm on the rising. These cards are clear. These cards are clear. These cards are clear. Thank you for showing me. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising. Yes, 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 yes. Whew. And then I think that by the end of September, like going towards like that third week or that fourth week of September, I think it's going to be amazing. That's when I believe that everything is going to go psh, You know, where you're going to be having these ideas and you're going to be like, okay, I know what to do now. I know what to do. I got to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> like you kind of be like, okay, I know, I know what to do now. I know what to say. I know how I should respond. I know how I should behave. I know what I should say. I know who to talk to, and I know where to go. Like all these different ideas is gonna be coming to you at one time. You're gonna be like, wait a minute, right? It's, I mean, it's really gonna be exciting, but it's gonna be like, whoa. You know, so for each and every one of you, this energy is going to really play out differently. For some, Like I said, for some of you, this is a financial issue. For some of you, this is a career situation or a love situation. For some of you, this may be about family or close friends. I don't know. Look at that. Sentimental feelings, dear love. I'm telling you. I don't know. I just feel like this is going to be like wow like really weighing on you like i don't know should i do this or should i do that you know then of course you're gonna have people that say yeah do this but you still gotta follow your heart and that's what's gonna be the challenging part about it is that when is the last time you actually trusted your fucking heart like when is the last time when is the last time you actually took a minute just for you like when is the last time you just listened to your heart like when you just sat there and you just you know Took it all in. When is the last time that you did that? When is the last time that you just meditated quietly with some beautiful music and you just did something creative and you just did something exciting? When is the last time? You don't feel like yourself when everything is all over the place. You you know, you have to be into something. <laughs> you have to be busy, but life has to also be fun. And when life is not fun, you get bored, you get stressed out, you get overwhelmed and depressed. You need excitement. And so the universe is saying, yes, honey, take care of your business, but don't forget to have fun. No, you got to have fun, Aquarius. So let's see what else is going on for you, okay? Don't be so emotional this season. Learn to relax. Kick your feet up. I mean, really relax, okay? Let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Overall career, life, health, and love. Show me love for my beautiful Aquarius. Yes, 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 yes. And you know what? This card right here, sentimental feelings, that really could be for a love situation. Who knows? Maybe you're trying to decide if you want to be with this person or not. Maybe you're missing someone. Maybe you're having thoughts about an ex or something. I don't know. But let's see what else is going on for Aquarius. Sun, moon, and rising. Overall career, life, love, health, and money. Ooh, yes. All right. So pay attention to how, you know, all these different moon phases. And, you know, this whole year has been quite spiritual for you, Aquarius. I mean, I'm not sure if you realize that, but a lot of, for a lot of you, it's like you've been praying more. You've been trying to fast. You've been trying to watch how you treat yourself, how you treat others. And I think that this is more of a learning experience for you, okay? So when it comes to your passion and things that you love, like your hobbies, like I said, Aquarius, this energy for you is really about just getting back out there, having more fun. You know, it's okay to take care of your business. It's okay to be serious. It's okay to buckle down sometimes and mean business. Absolutely. I mean, well, shit. When Mars, like I said, it just left Capricorn. So, I mean, I can understand. Well, it's, it didn't leave Capricorn yet. Like, it's going to, though. Uh, because we, we have seven planets in Earth signs. So... 
you know, that first week or two of September is going to be quite interesting. But then, like I said, Mars is going to leave Capricorn and go back into your sign. So it's, it's going to be kind of tricky. But when it comes to your overly, you know, your overall love for things that you love to do, okay, you know, trust and follow that feeling. You know, anything, trust and follow your renewed passion and your love life and in your career. You know, so something is really calling you to focus more on a relationship that you have not really quite been focused on so much because everything else keeps fucking distracting you and bothering you and disturbing your peace of mind, right? You haven't really had time to focus on this relationship, but you really, really think you love this person, then you may want to take out some time to invest more time and energy into this individual, okay? But if this is more about a career situation, where you're trying to find yourself, you're trying to find a way where you can make more money, where you can be more, you know, ambitious, where you can be more into or come up with some type of new ideas, new aspirations, you know, again, you know, take your time and think about all of these things, you know, seek that that motivational inspiration from someone that you deeply care for or it could come from a friend it could come from a spiritual coach somebody that can help guide you back on your journey because I feel like a lot of you feel lost okay not because you did anything wrong or not because the universe doesn't want to bless you but just simply because it's been you know, the universe is really, really working right now. And with all these planets working, by the third week of September, our cosmic energy will be different. So you will be able to think more freely. You will feel more free. You will feel a little better. So don't make any rash decisions, okay? So just pay attention to how the moon or anybody else makes you feel whenever there is a full moon, whenever there is a new moon. Pay attention to that energy, dear love, because it will help you to bounce back or go forward. <laughs> because that's what I love about full moons. And speaking of full moons, at the end, towards the end of September, we will, thanks to fall, yay, we're going to be done with that first day in fall, I believe around the 23rd. 3rd of September or the 22nd, we will be dealing with some of that beautiful energy. However, however, we're going to also have that full moon in Aries. And that fucking full moon in Aries is amazing, okay? You want to talk about Mars being in your sign? Mars is Aries ruling planet, okay? I'm talking about impulsive energy, confidence, sexiness, you know, ready to raw, you know, ready to just take the fuck over. Like that energy is coming right back at you and it's gonna creep on at you and you're not even gonna realize it okay you're not even gonna see it coming i see a lot of you healing healing prosperities upon you okay like it's gonna be a lot of healing whether it's mental physical emotional sexual compassion whatever it is it's definitely in the atmosphere by the mid september going into the last week okay pay attention Pay attention to that last week or that third week of September. It's going to be quite fucking interesting. I promise you. So let's see what else the universe has for you. I'm going to do, uh uh-oh. I am going to do your overall. (sighs) I'm going to do your overall career, life, health, money, love, everything else in between. Overall advice, okay? Let's see what is going on. Let's see what is expected it from you okay so now that we know what you can expect we need to know what we can expect from you okay so let's see what else is going on dear love because there is a lot happening Woo, your energy is very similar to Capricorn's. try to be very charismatic this season okay don't try not to overthink or overanalyze a particular situation just just be happy. Go with the flow. You know, if something feels right, just go for it. You know, even if you don't really quite understand at the moment, it's okay. You will understand. When the time is right, you will understand, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for showing me Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, overall career, life, health, money, and wealth, relationships, partnerships. What can we expect from Aquarius? Ooh! Very good. So whatever you just asked me, Aquarius, oh, honey, when I say this is a beautiful turnaround, OMG, okay, yes, do you see this? No, you don't see it because I didn't show you. Okay, so the universe gave you a firm, yes, honey, 
firm yes, okay? This is not just any of regular yes, but take your time. No, this is yes, like go fucking get it, okay? Like, <laughs> this is a firm yes. And you guys know I'm dramatic, so I'm sorry. I have to just tell you like that because that's what I feel. I feel excited, okay? Yes, whatever it is, yes, okay? Yes, absolutely, go for it. What is? What are you waiting for? You should have been did that. Thank you, universe, okay? All right, so, oh my God, you guys also got abundance. I think you guys are the first sign to actually get this particular card. Look how beautiful this is. You are being blessed and gifted, dear love. Ah. Oh. I feel so relieved. Do you guys feel relieved yet? Ever? <laughs> like, do you feel relieved? Ah, oh, I feel relieved. Aquarius, you've been going through some shit for the past few months or weeks or whatever. Abundance, though? Like, abundance of what? Of love or of money? Is it like abundance of like new friendships? Is it like abundance of like a new career? Or is this abundance of like just new ideas and inspirations? Like abundance of what? Only you know what you've been praying for. My goodness. And then if I look at passion, I'm like, what? Your love in your career? Come on now. It got to be that. Abundance for love in your career, dear love. Absolutely. The universe is saying yes to you, honey. Yes, 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 yes. Okay? And then for those of you that love children, and for those of you who love to work with children, or who may have thoughts about when you might have children, it's going to be okay. Don't overthink, don't overanalyze. Your children are okay. For those of you that have had a miscarriage, it's okay, all right? For those of you who would like to pursue a career working with children, this is the perfect season to do that, okay? If you have any type of thoughts about your children and how they are doing, or if your children are getting on your nerve these days, just breathe. Because they are the light of your world. And you know that, okay? So I think the universe just wanted me to just quickly remind you of that. So Aquarius, I love you. Your energy was way better today than it was for the past few months. So kisses to you, dear love. I love you, Aquarius. Please stay sweet, stay safe. Check out my website, www.g1insights.org. I have also posted the link here. So you should be able to just click on it and go about your business. Okay, I love you. Bye.